We're going to start a song off. This is it, right? Amen. Amen. teaching and preaching on this and seeing where the Lord would lead on this because I want to be blessed of the Lord but can I tell you this is one of the areas early on that I struggled in and I know that the struggle is real. I, I know that this is an area where a lot of people have struggles at. Uh, I do think that though that a Christian after a few years of being around the right preaching if they're living right and doing right then that at that time they should be able to start to grow in the grace of God. Amen. Amen. I, I know good Christians that went to bad churches uh, and never heard preaching on correction or doing right or living right. Then and you know, and I get that. I, I know what it's like to be a Christian. I understand what standards are. And I remember being the first time I sat under preaching where somebody preached on uh, attitudes and, and 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 empathy and sympathy and all that stuff, and it changed my mind and heart on what kind of Christian I want to be in and made me desire to grow closer to the Lord. And I'm going to tell you, verse 7 of Matthew 5 is a very, very serious verse to me as we're going to be going into it. We're going to be breaking it down, and uh, and I, I don't know if we'll get all the way through it. I hope we do, but I've got plenty of time right now. But for whatever reason, when it looks like I've got plenty of time, it jumps about 25 minutes ahead of me here in a minute. Amen. Amen. Uh, but I want you to look down there in Matthew chapter 5, verse 7. The Bible says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, help me to teach and preach this morning, God, as you'd have me to. God, Lord, bring in the soberness and the, and the seriousness of this, Lord. 
that Lord God Jesus said, Lord, we not just pass over this passage as, as not as important. Amen. And Lord, I just ask you, God, to please, Lord, take this and bless it this morning. Use me as your mouthpiece. Let me give them what you've given me. And God, help us, Lord, this morning, God, to change our attitudes and to change our temperaments to fit thy word. Lord, we love you. God, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Matthew chapter 7, I want to break it down real quick. It says, blessed, you know that means happy, happy, amen. amen. Or to be in the divine will of God. Before we get done with the message on the mountain teaching, you're going to know what blessed is, amen. amen. And you're going to, you should desire to be blessed, amen. And it says, are the merciful. Now, I want you to understand that we, this is once again, by us doing, then we shall receive. This always goes back to the principle of sowing and reaping. Amen, that's right. He that shall sow sparingly shall reap sparingly. That's right. The Bible says, Be not deceived, for God shall not be mocked. That whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. If he sows in the flesh, he reap in the flesh corruption, sows in the spirit, reap in the spirit of life everlasting. There is always a principle of God. What you give out is what you're going to get back. Amen. You're going to be met with the measure you That's meet right. with. Amen. 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 What you do is uh, it, it is important. I have people say, well, it doesn't matter what we do at it, all. And we're just kind of bouncing around and whatever happens, happens. That is not the principle Amen. of God. That is right. not a teaching of God. You understand? It, it, he extended the life of the righteous, but it's still Amen. an appointment that all shall need. Amen. Amen. And, and, and God does have His divine sovereignty. If He wants Amen. me at 40 years old, He'll have have me, amen. But if he extends my life, he only extends it because of his grace. Somebody say amen. amen. So at the end of the day, yes, it is in his sovereign control. But what happens while we're alive is yet under our control as far as how God meets us. Now that doesn't mean you're going to have great days every day, amen. amen. But what it does mean is even in your bad days how God uh, helps you through those days. Amen. amen. If you've ever had a, anybody you've lost, and we all have been here, somebody that has passed away, the fact that you and I made it through that without losing our mind is because of the grace and the mercy of God. Amen. Amen. And you and I must come to this realization this morning that if we want mercy from God, the Bible says that we're to be merciful. Right. And we're blessed by being merciful. Amen. What is that word merciful? Let's break it down together this morning. It is having and exercising mercy, compassionate, tender, forgiving offenses. Amen. Now, I'm going to tell you, some of you might have the tender down. Amen. The world we live in today, we got a lot of soft men. Amen. Feminine, amen. amen. And they can, they can pull off the limp wrist, the tender part, Amen. And we've got women that have compassion. Uh, women most time will cry with somebody even if they don't even know why they're crying. Amen. 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 Hey, y'all don't act like Amen. that ain't true, bless God. I'll show you real quick how fast y'all cry. Amen. 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 You you say the wrong thing to a woman, you can bring tears to her. Amen. Amen. They say the same thing to a man, and, and he'll laugh you off. Amen. It's just, it's just the cut of the way it is. Amen. It's a, it's two different types of people. Amen. But whenever you get to the forgiving of offenses, that right there is I don't care whether it's a man, a woman, Amen. or a child, is where they all struggle unitedly in what's going on. Amen. Amen. They struggle in forgiving of offenses. But the hardest you don't know what they've done to me. I don't say that stuff preaching because I just feel like saying it. It's because over the last seven years of being a pastor, I have heard that comment about 150, 11 million times. Amen. You don't know what they did to me. You don't know what she said to me. She don't talk to me on Facebook no more. He don't text me. He don't know. He don't tell. He don't even listen. And I'm always saying, to man, all you do is talk sooner or later. Everybody's got to shut their ears off. Amen. 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 But over the years, that you hear all this, and and, and what it is, it, it, it's a lack of, of tenderness, yes, and it's a lack of compassion, yes. But unforgiveness is the number one thing that draws away uh, from That's mercifulness right. of the child of God. We want to hold on and let and let vengeance be ours. Amen. 
right. The Bible says vengeance belongeth to the Lord, yeah. and he will recompense unto himself. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But God knows how to deal with things, but what we want to do is we want to deal uh, with them in a way that seems right unto us. But, but now go look at your text now. It says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Now there's a promise there. Right. I want to focus on the promise for a second before I get into the message this morning. That word shall is a promise from God. Amen. Yeah. Romans 10, 13, for who serves God upon the Lord shall be saved. Amen. Amen. Yep. It doesn't say might be, it doesn't say no, could be, it doesn't right. say it's a, it's a possibility, it says shall. Shall is a promise yep. from God. God said if you do this, this is guaranteed yep. to happen. Yep. So Amen. if you are merciful, Amen. you're not only going to be blessed in your life, but you shall obtain. Obtain something is to receive. Yep. Uh, and if you obtain it unto yourself, it's not just what everybody else gets. A uh, notice is an individuality. You all may have a notebook with you today, but you don't have this notebook. This notebook's mine. Amen. And Brother Wayne, I want everybody to have mercy, and I want everybody to have grace, and I want everybody to be blessed. But I tell you right now, I want it for the individual and myself as Amen. well. I want these things from God. I need these Amen. things from God. If you think you don't need the mercy and grace of God oh, this morning, my oh. friend, you're in a bad place this morning. In a hard-hearted place this morning. And God Almighty is willing to give this thing unto us if we're willing to give it out in return. Amen. Amen. Now you say, Brother Horace, I don't want to be merciful. Then don't expect mercy from God. Amen. Right. And we're going to look at a lot, a lot of this, but what is the mercy here when we look at mercifulness? Here's what mercy is. Mercy is mildness or tenderness of heart. To overlook injury. Amen. Now I want you to soak this in. It is the mildness or tenderness of heart to overlook injury. You and I injure God every day. Amen. Amen. You and I injure God every day. Amen. And I want you to wrap your mind around this. Jesus went up there. To Pontius Pilate, and he was in the judgment hall. Amen. Amen. That's right. Now, I'm going somewhere with all yeah. this. You just listen up this morning. Amen. He's sitting there in the judgment hall, and Pontius Pilate says, you don't want to answer me. He said, don't you know I have the power whether to, to release thee or to, or, or to crucify thee? And Jesus said, you ain't got no power Amen. unless it be given from heaven. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus said, son, if I wanted to, just like I told old Peter, I called out 12 legions of angels, they'd rip this place Amen. apart. Amen. You'd be obliterated and I'd go on back to glory if that's Amen. what I wanted to do. Uh, nobody Amen. crucified our Christ. That's Christ allowed himself to Amen. be crucified Amen. to fulfill the oh, promise of his own word. Because he said he would. And if he ever said something, he's always done it. Amen. 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 And they didn't like that. They don't like somebody that says something and does it. Amen. Amen. Ask Trump. Somebody said amen. 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 And the fact is, the Lord Jesus Christ said, I'm going down there. I love it, Isaiah, when he said, who shall send He said, send me. I know it was amen. Isaiah that penned that, but it was the Spirit of God that was in the soul that his son shall go. Amen. Whenever he took Abraham, took Isaac up into that mountain, I, I believe that was God got this hill, and you can't prove me no different. Right. And whenever he was willing to sacrifice his only begotten, I believe it was Abraham that took his boy up there, but I believe it was the Spirit of God that led him. Amen. Amen. It was a picture of the Lamb that was to come. And he slain before the foundation of the world. Amen. Nobody crucified my Amen. king. My king went willingly for you and I. Why? Because of the injury that you and I caused him. Amen. Because of the sin, the abundance of sin that the bulls, that the blood of bulls and goats could no longer take away. That was no longer uh, going to be adequate for the sin that was abounding. And not if he was going to graft in this Gentile bride. Right, it was going to take something awful Amen. big to bring in the, the right, nasties yeah. of the world and the lonely Amen. dog of the world. It was going to take something a lot bigger than bulls and goats if he was going to reach out and grab the sinners and bring them in with the saints. And thank God that I'm a sinner got saved by the blood. Amen. But I'll tell you, since I got saved, I wish I could tell you I ain't sinned, but I have. Amen. Amen, brother. I wish I'd tell you that since he took his 
beautiful hands and had them crucified on the cross. And since I received that uh, that blood atonement, Brother Wayne, I wish I could tell you that I've lived uh, a life of sinless perfection, but that is not the case that I would have lied to you this morning. In fact, I can tell you that I have failed him at times. Amen. I have failed and I have sinned and I have injured and I think of Colossians too every time about that nailing my sin to his cross and I think about every time that I have failed him and I've sinned him, I injured him again. That was my sin that drove Amen. those nails. That was my sin that brought that cat of nine tails. That was my sin that brought Amen. that stinking crown of thorns upon Amen. his blessed, precious head. It was my sin sin that hung him there. It was my sin that killed him. If you don't know what's yours this morning, it's a real good morning to get born again. Amen. Amen. That was the injury that we inflicted unto him. Amen. And the fact that he would even be merciful to forgive me of my sin and to cleanse me and to save me. It's, uh, it's so, I, I can't wrap my mind around it this morning. But now here that we are saved, Amen. we have caused injury again. Amen. And now it's about no long now longer it's no longer about my salvation. Right. Now it's about my walk with God. Amen. Amen. Now it's about my relationship with my Savior. Amen. Now it's about how I treat him and how he treats me and yes. how we uh, have this relationship Amen. together. Amos 3 3. How can we walk together except we be agreed? Listen, how can two walk together except they be agreed? That was not talking about man and man. That's talking Amen. about God and man. Yes. Amen. Go back and read it for yourself. That's not in the context of two men walking together. That's the context of God and man walking together. And I'll tell you this, it marvels me that God even wants to walk with man. Amen. Marvels me he even wants the fellowship. Yeah. But now I read in the verse 7 and we read it and we just jump over it. But I find something so serious that God desires. God desires to have this walk. Amen. And this is not a new concept of the New Testament, by the way. Amen. Sowing and reaping has always been a concept of the Lord. That's right. In fact, even David understood this. Take your Bibles over to 2 Samuel. Chapter 22. Some of you are very familiar with this chapter. Because in the previous chapter of chapter 21, a great battle was won. Famine had occurred. He whooped them king and them giant sons. And then here, David, you said that Brother Harkins, David's had some faults. Yeah, you have too. Amen. 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 Well, I hate when we get to this place. We feel like everybody else has done wrong, but we've sure on our own. Amen. Or you go just in your crown of righteousness this morning. You might as well get horns off the head. Come on. Amen. I mean, preach 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 time. Amen. 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 David, David had his faults. Brother Harvest had his faults. Brother so and so's had his faults. Sister so and so had his faults. I understand it, but so have you. That's right. Amen. 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 Yep. And in our fall. Amen. Listen to me. If you say you have no sin, First John one says yep. that you're lost. That's right. Amen. Amen. Say you have no sin. Yep. The truth's not in you. Amen. Amen. I take right there, verse eight, prove that this morning. Amen. So we have to accept the fact that we have, we do sin. Now, I'm, listen, I'm not condoning willful sin. Amen. Amen. We ought to fight against sin this Amen. morning. Amen. We ought to worry. Right, let's not live our life to try not to sin. But I'm just going to tell you, son. Uh, and sooner or later you're going to be put in a situation because you're still inside this body of flesh and sin's going to come. Amen. 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 I mean, sooner or later somebody going to cut you off and you're going to have a bad thought. Amen. I don't care how sweet somebody acts. I don't care how mean somebody Amen. I'm talking about at the core root of it all, we still flesh and blood until Amen. we That's leave right. this body and get a glorious body. Amen. We ain't never going to get away from this thing called sin. Amen. Amen. So before you go throwing stones at glass house. Yep. Amen. Amen. David had his faults. Amen. But I'm going to tell you something, reason I believe that David was a man after God's own heart. Because even though David may have had his faults, he loved the Lord and he knew to trust in Amen. the Lord. And David knew to follow the word of God and to live by it. Amen. You don't bring down a giant unless you know that God's for you. Somebody Amen. say Amen. Amen. You, you, don't learn, you don't learn how to be the king when the other king's chasing you Amen. unless you know God's for you. Amen. Amen. And right here in 1 Samuel, and I'm sorry, 2 Samuel chapter 22, we call this the song of deliverance. 
But I want you to look at the thing here in verse 25 that you see this is not new to what we're talking about in the New Testament. The Bible says, Therefore the Lord hath recompensed... Oh, man, I like that word. Amen. Recompense me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanness in His sight. With the merciful, notice this, thou wilt show thyself merciful. Amen. And with the upright man, thou wilt show thyself merciful. Upright. David just come to this great victory, and he said, The reason I came through the victory is not because I'm a great king, not because I'm a man of war, not because of my experience, not because of my talent. He said, The reason I obtained mercy from the Lord is because I have been merciful. Amen. Amen. Now you say, when has David ever been merciful? I'll first of all, I'll give you one example. I used to, whenever a new king came in, and they would wipe out, all, just like lions, Amen. they would wipe out all the, the cubs of the, of the other king. Amen. Yep. Amen. Amen. And David had made a promise unto Jonathan. Amen. Amen. And because he was good to his word, he was merciful to the house, of, the house of Saul of Jonathan. And he said, I want you to bring me one of them boys. Of Saul's house. Yeah. And he brought a boy by the name of Mephibosheth. Yep. It's a fifty dollar word. Yeah. Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth was broken. And, and, and what happened was one day when Saul was coming in from a great victory, the nurse who had Mephibosheth was running to, to hear the, the, the call of the king coming in. And the Bible says that she dropped him. And I don't know if she broke his back or if it crippled his legs, but from that day forward, Mephibosheth was a cripple. Amen. Now, you understand, this wasn't uh, back then, they don't, well, they, they don't treat everybody here. In 2022, everybody gets a trophy. Amen. Everybody, are y'all all right? Amen. 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 Everybody gets a trophy. Everybody's a winner. Amen. You, you may not be able to throw. I mean, man, we was doing an egg toss down there at the four or five building, and there was a dude. He wound up. I thought he was going to throw that egg 500 miles. And when he threw it, it went over. Oh, honestly, God didn't go that far. Went to the left and hit the middle. He threw like, I mean, you remember that? Amen. And he said, well, do I get anything? I said, yeah, you get to clean the church and hit with an egg. Amen. 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 He ain't giving out second place trophies. Somebody can Throws an egg like that. And back then, I mean, they, that's how life was. I, I mean, man, you, 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 you would say, listen, it was eat or be eat. Are y'all all right? And, and, and you didn't always take care of every little thing. And I, I mean, man, it was just life. And, and, and a cripple back then, a lot of times, uh, they would have to beg. Or they would have to plead. Or they would have to uh, take them on. They would have to go out there. And that's how they made their living. That's how they would survive. But, but David, in his mercy. Amen. Amen. Took Mephibosheth. Amen. Brought him into the king's house. Amen. And set him up like he was royalty. Amen. Yep. And I believe with all my heart, a heart like that is what brought God to a place where God found David to be after his heart. And you say, why? Because God reached down the bottom of the barrel for you and I, Amen. scraped us out of the muck and the mire, Amen. cleaned us off, and made us to be like royalty. Amen. 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 We are the sons of God. Amen. Amen. We are the sons of the king. And just like David has shown that mercy in the fellowship. Amen. Getting that out again. Amen. I'm not done calling that name out. And it's just like God showed him mercy. Or God didn't show him mercy. Ain't you happy God showed you that Amen. type of mercy? Amen. In fact, it was so good that he said it in Psalms 98, 25 again. I want to take Bible's Proverbs 11, though, this morning. I'm telling you, this is needed in our Christian walk. It's not an option. It's a necessity. Amen. I want you to go to Proverbs chapter 11. I want you to look down at verse 17. See, I told you, it jumps 25 minutes on me every time. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I want you to look down at verse 17, Proverbs chapter 11. The Bible says, The merciful man... Doeth good to his own soul. Now I want you to listen. Not only is it a blessing to God, Amen. but it's just good for you. Amen. Amen. It's just good for you. Amen. You say, well, how's that? Well, I'm going to show you here in a minute, but I want you to remember that. It's good for you. Amen. 
Amen. To be merciful is not only to draw the blessings of God, but it's just good for you in general. Amen. Look down the last part of verse 17. But he that is cruel troubleth his own flesh. Yeah. Now, I want you to understand that. I've got to move real quick. Time's like ticking away. So not only do we now see uh, God's desire of it, but now I want you to see if you're not merciful what you are. If you're not merciful, the Bible calls you cruel. I would not want God to meet me with the measure I'm being I'm being met That's with right, amen. if what I'm being met with is cruelty. Right. Amen. 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 I would not want to think that by what I am sowing, what I'm about to reap would be cruelty. Amen. Now I can take you over to Proverbs chapter one. And when they would hearken not unto his word and to none of his counsel, he laughed at them when their calamity came. That's right. Yeah. That's scary. Yeah. When their calamity came, when their trouble came, their problems came, he laughed at them. He said they seek him early and they could not find him. Mm -hmm. I take over to Peter, so he to the zero and the righteous, but turneth his face from the wicked. Amen. Amen. I would not want to ever have the thought because of my actions and my heart and the yep. way that I treat people that what I would do would instead of drawing the blessings of God, instead would draw out the cruelty or the judgment or the anger of God just simply because I chose to live the way I choose to live. Amen. Amen. Now, God's mercy, I want to look at it real quick. Go to Lamentations. Chapter 3. Page 836 in your Schofield. Amen. Y'all appreciate that one day. Amen. That's good. 836. I want you to look at Lamentations chapter 3. We'll start with verse 21. I want to show you the very heart of God here. Now, if you don't know much about your Bible, Lamentations, of course, we call this is the, the weeping prophet. Right, amen. This Jeremiah, they've lost everything, cities burned, Babylon's where they're headed to. When most Christians today would throw their hands up and said, blame God and curse God and, oh, God don't love me and all this and that, this is what the Bible says in Lamentations. 3 and start verse 21 is what uh, Jeremiah says. This I recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because His compassions fail not. Amen. Verse 23, They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Amen. So Amen. the dedication of God here, the dedication of God is it's a daily giving that He wants us to have. Amen. That His compassions never end. Amen. His mercies never fail. It's always available to the child of God if the child of God is willing to be, to be merciful themselves. Amen. That's right. If they're willing to be compassionate and to be tender and to forgive. Forgiveness is essential. Listen to me. Some of you have hindered your walk and will continue to hinder your walk because you cannot forgive. And I'm telling you right now, friend, I don't care how bad they've done you. I don't care how bad they wronged you. Hey, it's nothing worth your relationship with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Nothing's worth stumbling your walk. Amen. Nothing's worth knocking you off your path. Nothing. You can't lose your salvation. But I'm going to tell you why some of you have not seen the things of God like God would desire you. Because at the end of the day, you're tender only to their face. You're only compassionate right. to their face. But you have a lack of forgiveness. Therefore, behind their back, you're as bitter as you can be. Amen. 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 Some of you mad at God this morning. Amen. You're just scared to tell him. Amen. You're scared to go, why? Right. Amen. Come on. And instead of what you do, you live a life that is an example of such. Amen. Amen. Forgiveness is not an option. Amen. 
It's essential. Mercy Amen. is not an option. It's essential. Right. If you want mercy and you want God to be tender with you and you want God to be compassionate with you and you want God to forgive you, Amen. Then you have to learn how to exercise the very sowing and reaping principle. Amen. Take your Bibles to Matthew 18. Amen. Peter comes up to the Lord and he's going to sound real spiritual here. Amen. <laughs> Right. Well, be quick. Go to Matthew 18, 21. Bible says, Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Till seven times? Jesus said unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Amen. Four hundred and ninety times in the same offense. Amen. That's what the Lord says you're to forgive somebody. Think about Matthew chapter 5. Gotta go quickly. I don't have time to spend a lot of time on that. I told you, Matthew, go Matthew 6. It might help you if you're in the wrong place. Amen. You try to memorize as much as it is. You gotta try to score it in this time. Amen. 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 You'll be over in Colossians to the Corinthians sometime. Amen. Amen. Because in 15 minutes, i got to switch gears and go to a totally different message. Amen. Matthew 6, 14. I, I don't want to read the whole prayer, but I want to read these two verses. That's right. Amen. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your Heavenly Father will also forgive you. Now, how many of you wants to be forgiven this morning? Amen. How many of you want some mercy this morning? Amen. We all want it. Yep. Unless there's something wrong with you. Amen. All of us want it. And it's obtainable. I've done proven that. Enough Bible to prove that it's obtainable. But I want you to look down in this next verse, verse 15. Amen. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. Amen. Bible says over there, and Matthew Guinness says, if you come to the altar and you have all of the brothers since the lead you press it, go back and Amen. fix that off. Amen. Amen. Before you even come to God. That's right. Amen. Blessed are the merciful. Amen. They shall obtain mercy. Amen. Amen. And a part of your mercifulness. We want the forgiveness, we want the blessing. A part of that is compassion and tenderness, but the big one's the forgiveness. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Now I thank God He forgave me. Amen. Amen. And I thank God for First John one nine, He'll still forgive me. Amen. Amen. But now I want the mercy of God in my life. Amen. Amen. Now I wonder how many this morning we're going to stop right there. Don't got no time to go far. But I wonder how many this morning honestly has unforgiveness in their heart. I wonder how many this morning has a lack of tenderness. Maybe there's somebody, when I mention unforgiveness, the first name or, or person right. pops in your head. If that's you this morning, friend, you're drinking poison hoping somebody else will get sick. That's that's right. Right. Amen. Can I tell you, I've been there. Amen. Brother Wilson, you kill that video for a second. They'll be back with us at 11 o'clock here. I've shared a lot of stories. Y'all want to share one with you real quick. 